All right, welcome back to the channel. We got a weird one for y'all today. I'm gonna be fishing with this thing, which is a Wish App bait caster. Now on the Wish App, they have all kinds of fishing products from spinning gear to bait casting. And I happened to pick this one up about two years ago for 20 bucks or so. And I guess I was super desperate for another reel. I don't quite remember why I wanted this one. But ever since I bought it, it's just been sitting in my room collecting dust. So that's why I figured why not try to film a video fishing with it. Now I have seen some videos on other wrist reels, but I haven't seen a video on a reel that looks quite like this one. So maybe that's a good thing. I don't really know. We're going to have to see. So we're going to head straight out to the water and I hope you all enjoy. All right. So we got our uh, Sugi, Sugi Lang. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Uh, we got this crazy looking reel and we we're at the spot. I got a chatterbait tied on. We're gonna see if we can catch a fish and even if this reel can handle catching a fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First cast. Not terrible, actually. Not that bad. I got it over there. I'm really interested to see how this reel holds up. All right, here we go, another cast. This thing does feel cheap, like when you're holding it, um, but casting, it's not horrible so far. Let's see what our braking looks like. Oh, it's got magnetic braking, I guess. Yeah, magnetic braking is what it looks like, and I have it set on pretty much the minimum, the lowest amount of braking. Oh, what the heck just happened? What in the world? That's not good. Maybe I shouldn't have messed with the braking, because now it doesn't want to sit back on the wheel. It's hard to know if that's a follower or just the bait. <coughs> that's fish. Oh, wow. I guess it was a follower. First fish ate me up close. Beautiful fish right there. I've caught one fish now on this Sugi Lang bait caster. Send him back. Dude, this thing is like bombing. It doesn't make sense. But now it doesn't feel smooth. I feel like I'm using like sort of a pepper grinder. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh. 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 On the Sugi Lang yet again, we've caught another one. See ya. Is that a bass? Oh. Yeah. Bro, no shot. No shot. That thing's actually fat too. I feel bad for hitting it down there, but look at this little creek beast. And then my reel is just falling apart. We're out here on day two. I'm not feeling good about this reel. Toss him, maybe. Hey, good cast. But, and every time it pops off, It'll backlash. And now I got reel caught up under there. This is just a mess. Do not buy this reel. Save yourself the money and the time. I can't even, this reel is so bad. I don't understand. It was doing okay at first, but now we're dealing with this every cast. So clearly things didn't turn out quite how I wanted, but there wasn't a lot to expect when spending like $20 on a reel. And this is, uh, this is what we were looking like after today. So yeah, not good for sure. And this reel is just an absolute mess. Don't waste your time or your money on this reel. Even though it's cheap, it's not, it's not worth the investment. Some things that I can't stand about this reel are first the paint job, it just peels off. Now that's just like a cosmetic thing that's not affecting the performance necessarily. But beyond that, one of the things that really frustrated me with this thing were how easily the side plate would fall off. Like I would go and mid cast, the side plate would just pop off and I'd get a pretty bad backlash. Um, that really started happening towards the end of the day as the reel just started falling apart. Like it was doing okay towards the beginning, 
I was kind of impressed with how it was casting, but it didn't take long before things started going downhill. So literally, if I show you guys here, I don't know if it's focused or not, but I think the main issue here is that, as you can tell, it just falls off super easy. That this clip that holds it on, it's so short that all it takes is the slightest nudge and it pops off and it is a struggle to get it back on. So this reel's a mess. Spend the extra few bucks on a better reel. Trust me on this. You're just don't don't waste your time on this reel. But besides that, we got some cool videos coming up in the near future. If I can get this bait. Um, some are gonna be on big swim baits like this guy right here. Additionally, we're gonna have our video on some of the best clips that we had this year. It was a great year of fishing. Got a lot of big fish. Uh, went to a bunch of new places. But yeah, that's gonna bring this video to a close. Hope you guys enjoyed, even though it was sort of short-lived and ended up in a pretty negative way. But it was fun while it lasted. So thank you guys for tuning in for this one and we'll see you all on the next one.